Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Sunday, October the 2nd. The year is 2022. Let's talk trading. Weekly open and gap. Monthly open and gap. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And we are starting a new month, so let me just remind you. Risk management. Never lose more than you're willing to lose on any one particular trade. So let's take a quick look at the monthly. So far we are 59, almost 60 pips below the monthly open. That's on the pound. We've got about 92 pips of range. Uh, we gapped down, we filled the gap, and we're continuing to go down. That would have been nice to put a short on right at the open or so, or maybe even catch it up at the 1190. Would have been a nice, nice ride to the downside. From uh, some of the videos that I've watched and the news I've read about the uh, pound and the euro, it seems like they want to bring everything to par. So we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. But we have a, a few, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pairs that haven't filled the gap. We're putting in the opening range for the week. As you can see. And for the year, we are 744 pips off the yearly low. That's huge. You can see we're putting in new lows for the day. As I speak, let's see if it breaks the double O, it'll hit 95, then 90, then down to the 75, then down to the 60, then down to the 40. Um, we've seen this so many times that it happens that way. You know, sometimes it might only go down to 95 and come back up, but if it continues down, those are usually the areas where there's some resistance. So we have to see if it breaks that double O. see as far as inside bars go we really don't have many plays right now there's only a handful at least on the daily weekly and monthly time frames and 97 pips so far the pound new zealand the new beast 239 pips and counting and uh the dollar yen's over 145 so we'll just see what happens there i'll be looking to short the yen that's for sure or short the dollar against the yen and we just broke through and you can see we hit the 95 and a couple of hours ago we had a uh and out of the buy zone we had a short triggered right here uh, around 1153, 11.51, and that'd be good for about 50 some pips right now. As you can see here, range is large enough for the rat zone, but be careful if you uh, want to trade long. We might see uh, 109 uh, before this is over. I think there's going to be a uh, some. I heard something that the Fed was going to talk tomorrow. So we're bouncing off the 95 area, hit 94. See if it comes back up to the double O and then down to the 90. Pivot trading plan. Bambino Flex indicator says go short near the pivot, and we are already 43 pips below that pivot. Uh, the pivot trading plan here says the bias is long near the pivot, so we have a, have a conflict right there, or disagreement. Uh, let's take a quick look here. It looks like we're almost going to take out that monthly pivot. We're down to the 90. Um, if you wonder, I'm not really predicting. These are just things I've seen repeatedly how price moves on the pound so um 
it's nothing that I'm predicting in real time. It's just something that I anticipate based on uh, history. So haven't quite taken out that monthly pivot, but if it continues on the downslide, we will weekly pivot. We've got one below at 109.19 and one above at 115.03. Let's see which one of these gets taken out first. And the daily we've already taken out. But this monthly should be interesting. We're into the lower wick zone from the previous trading day, Friday. So we'll see what price does. Does it come out the top or will it come out the bottom? So far, a weekly range now, 104. We didn't break out of the previous week's high or low yet, but we've managed to uh, run 101 pips off of the current daily high and right now two pips above the current daily low which is also the uh, weekly high and low at the moment. And you can see the buy zone trade, high minus open 32, open minus low 72. Buy zone traders were rewarded. And even though... Um, we usually don't trade Walmart uh, on Sundays, um, but when you look and see these ranges, it's just telling you that just because the way price has been moving, that these trades are now valid trades. Or it's valid to trade uh, during this time period. As you can see, we just had a huge huge move to the downside we've got a three ball we've got a lower high just put in at 109.3 though I would not be looking for longs at the moment but we can wait and see what happens and let's see I think we still missed that pivot didn't we daily pivot or, or, or was it the weekly pivot we were which oh the monthly pivot 87 that's what we we're looking to take out but we've got a low of 89.9 so we still haven't taken it out I think we take it out so coming to that almost broke that high so green rats are looking to feast and it just broke it you just had a chance to take two quick pips so far this month that's interesting 104 oh let's see we might have to uh update just to change the time frame to update the chart because just this fills up um isn't dynamic it fills up when you uh first load the indicator because otherwise it'd be too much data to calculate over and over and over again. And considering if these aren't going to change, there's no reason to uh, recalculate. So 104 pips so far this month. And you can see we had a huge 2008. October 2008 was huge in pips. Don't look to repeat that. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And since we have not broken out of the previous month's high or low, the 
accumulated range has not changed but notice 33 once again 2009 is the only oh 2009 and 2008 are the two years which have a larger year-to-date accumulated range and the uh, trade reminder uh, really hasn't been changing much uh, considering the way price has uh, been moving um let's see i don't think i had any questions that needed to be answered um out there at least i don't recall any so if you do have a question you can let me know in the uh, messages or replies to the youtube video or over on the facebook group i usually check those or of course you can always eat send an email or post on Cresslick. But this week, uh, we should have NFP on Friday with the ADP, I guess, on Wednesday. So once again, there could be a lot of price action. You know, one of the things is you can look at these charts, especially, say, if you look at an hourly chart, and you can see some just really huge moves. But the question is, you know, how are you going to play those moves? I mean, it'd be nice to have captured, you know, from the bottom to the top, but how exactly would you trade that? That's why you have to have a trading plan. And one of the things about having a trading plan, if it's working, don't deviate. Really, don't change a thing. Even if you can see different things on a chart, because if you start to change, then all of a sudden you find yourself losing as opposed to winning. You know, that's on you. You know, maybe you'll catch a nice hourly run for, you know, 20, 30, 40 pips. You'll be on the right side of the trade and it just keeps going your way. But, you know, you can look at some of these candles. You could have taken this short, you know, walked away, think you're safe. And next thing you know, it turns around and takes your stop. You just gave back, you know, 40 or 50 pips. Why? And the other thing, you need to um, know when to quit, not necessarily based on your profit or loss. Um, one of the things last week, there was one day um, I traded too long and I got fatigued. So the next day, um, I started to feel that same way and I was ahead and I just quit. I said, you know what, that's it for the day. I've made my goal or more than goal. So... Yep, there's opportunities I'm going to miss, but I'm going to quit so I don't make any mistakes just based on fatigue. So you have to uh, know yourself, know when to quit. Sometimes it's based on, you know, plus or minus pips. Sometimes it's just based on how you feel, how you're trading. If you see your game is off, you know, take a break an hour or two and then maybe come back and see if your if your game is still off then maybe you just need some rest and return to bed now you'd see we we're back up to that 111 mark and just like I said it'll come down hit the 95 go back up hit the 90 go back up break the 90 and then usually it goes down to about 75 and we're still at that 89.9 low. So you just have to wait and see what happens here. I mean, price came back down through that lower high. And how many times have I seen this? Enough to know to take the pips here and then maybe get a re-entry. And if it leaves without me, I can always, you know, jump in. But just never, you know, if you see price get up there and you move your stop to break even plus one, Chances are it's going to take it out. So, fellow traders, I hope you had a fun and safe weekend. I wish you a profitable trading day, week, and month here in October. And always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks.
This is the rumpled one, over and out.